Should we be so surprised about the Greek mess? According to thousands of executives, maybe not. A new survey by the Young Presidents Organization of more than 2,000 CEOs around the world shows a stunning loss of confidence in Europe. Live now from London, Banu Chowdhury, founder and chief executive, director of the uh, CNC Alpha Group and a YPO member. Banu, great to have you with us. Great to be here. What specifically were red flags in the people's minds who you surveyed? Well, I, th I think that the main element that came out was the confidence in what's happening politically in Europe, uh, globally, the downturn uh, which is affecting people in Europe, the employment issues, uh, and also in the short term, what is going to actually happen with Greece. So what does that translate into in terms of that loss of confidence? Is it that these CEOs are not hiring, that they're not uh, spending on infrastructure and R&D? Unfortunately, yes. I mean, the CEOs, when interviewed, feel that they do not want to take the risk uh, today of hiring people when they don't know what's going to actually happen in the future. I find it very interesting that it says here from your press release, the divergence between confidence in emerging markets and that of developed markets or the developed world is also shrinking. So these, these uh, young blades that are in emerging markets are also beginning to get uh, less optimistic and, and the whole thing is kind of flattening down around the world. Yes, it is. There is definitely a decline across the world in, in the emerging markets. Uh, but what is also interesting to see is that there, the confidence level in, in the U.S. is starting to pick up now. Uh, it has surpassed Europe. Europe is today below uh, the U.S. And we feel that, to, uh, that in the near future, the U.S. is going to come out of this far quicker than uh, the rest of the world. So in terms of the United States, is there a willingness by these people to invest in the U.S.? Uh, where do they see sort of the safe haven refuge? I mean, if they had to invest and expand, where would that be? Well, we as a group, uh, CNC Alpha, we invested in the U.S. We invested two years ago in the banking sector. We went into sm uh, small community banks. Uh, we took over, and we've seen a huge growth in that field. In the residential multifamily dwellings, there is a huge demand where people can't afford to buy new homes, but they can definitely afford to rent homes. And that, again, is a very big market. All right, Banu, we're going to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us. Banu Chaudhry.